I wanted to create a little bit of a mini course here on how to use AI to take better notes. And as all of these tools have come out, accomplished incredible things, it kind of surprised me how few people are applying AI tools like GPT-4 directly in their notes to take better notes. Because for me, this is where I live in every day, mentally. It is my second brain uh, in a digital app. So everything that I, you know, outline from strategies to writing to new ideas, that all happens in my notes. So using AI to produce even a 10 to 20% increase is kind of life-changing for your work. And I actually think that's a drastic underestimation. I think using AI in my notes has drastically improved my output from the speed with which I can do things to improving my writing, as you'll see, uh, to even just coming up with new ideas and forming new thought connections. So I'll take you through some of the ways that we in the Reflect team are using AI in our notes. And I will be doing this all within Reflect just because Reflect has all of the AI technology kind of bundled into their integrations here. And I won't have to leave the application, but you could use other tools for this as well. You could use ChatGPT for some of it, although you'd have to toggle back and forth between your notes app and ChatGPT. Uh, similarly, you can use some of these tools like Otter and Fireflies for transcriptions and meetings. So use whatever tool works best for you. Um, but if you don't yet have AI tools you're using, Reflex integrations operate for all of these quite well. All right, so let's dive in. Condensing information. This is the first thing that I started using really, really regularly. Uh, let me expand that whole thing there. So this is a excerpt from one of Reflex blog posts. So I'm going to select all this text, pull up the AI editor. And if I type in summarize, we have a couple pre-written prompts here. You can do a longer summary or a shorter summary. I'll click on short summary here. And it will basically condense all of these paragraphs into one singular paragraph that holds all the information. And if you want, you can click on this arrow here to see the prompt of what it's actually doing and how it's instructing the AI. And if you want to tweak it, you can actually clone it yourself, give it a new name and edit it however you'd like and save it as a custom prompt, which you'll see me use some of mine in a second. But for now, it's got our summary here. So I'm going to choose to replace it. And so now instead of this blog article with a lot of text, I just have one quick and snappy paragraph. And you don't have to do a summary either. Uh, one of my favorite ones is actually listing key takeaways. I probably use that one more often because when I save a reading, I like to just have quick bullet points that I can reference if I want to look at that information again. All right, let's go on to improving writing. Actually, first let's do recording audio notes because I think that might be more relevant first. Um, so in Reflect, we have a Whisper AI integration that records voice note transcriptions with near human level accuracy. So if you're on our app, you can actually do that with this little microphone icon here. And it is on our mobile app in the top right hand corner. But I've actually pre recorded one here just so that you guys don't have to listen to me ramble more than necessary. Um, this is a voice note that I actually took last night for one of the projects that I'm working on trying to improve the SEO on it. So if I select all of this, I can open up the AI assistant and I'm going to have it list the action item because this is a voice note that I took of things that I need to do next on this strategy. And you can see it will do that. Um, it will take this text that I've recorded to be an audio memo and list out the action items. So in this case, I am just kind of having it do the hard work for me. I'm still doing the thinking. This ramble has everything that I needed in terms of information of what I wanted to do next. But instead of having to organize those thoughts myself, I can have the AI do it. So I'm going to go ahead and replace that in there. And now you can see kind of my action items here. Um, and I think this becomes really useful for me in a couple of scenarios. One is that scenario last night where I was almost ready to go to bed, had an idea of what I needed to do next on this strategy. And I didn't want to forget it for the next day. I wanted to wake up knowing exactly where to start. So I recorded this audio memo and now I can just have it organized and I've got my step-by-step to-do list for the next time I tackle this project. Similarly, I can take a walk around my neighborhood. I can ramble about some topic and have the audio memo. So I guess there's two benefits here. One is in the audio memo itself because it is insanely accurate. But the second benefit is using the GPT-4 AI assistant to organize your audio memo because Having a big wall of text that is just coming from you rambling is not always that useful. So 
a lot of different things you can do with the audio memo feature, but in terms of friction, frictionlessly <laughs> capturing thoughts without friction, I think this is to use a stereotype, an absolute game changer. I can record notes so much faster with this now, and you'll see in a moment here how I use that a little further. Okay, so let's go to improving writing. Um, so one, have it act as a copy editor. This is a great one for me because I like to type very fast and recklessly, and I tend to get sentences that look something like this, <laughs> where there's a lot of spelling mistakes, there's grammar errors. So I can, again, pull up the AI assistant and have it act as my copy editor. This is another one of the pre-written prompts that comes with Reflect, by the way. And here it will just rewrite my sentence. It will take out my spelling mistakes and fix them. It will add in some punctuation to help it uh, read and flow easier. And I can just replace that. And now I have much better text that I've still written myself. Uh, all right, so let's go to create article outline. So this is where voice notes come into play. So this was a voice note that I took, pretty long one, <laughs> rambling as I was walking around my neighborhood. And I had an, uh, an idea for a blog post about how note taking has kind of helped me mentally as someone that struggles with some anxiety. So if I select this all, wow, that was a long one. Uh, I can pull up the AI, edit AI editor and have it generate an outline for an article. And because I, you can see how it's structured it here. I have the format pretty simple here. And that's just because I like to use this as a jumping off point, but then I will further edit my outline. If you wanted to, you could create whatever outline structure here that you wanted to and make it faster. But for me, I kind of like to keep it in this basic numbered format with sub points. And then what I will do is kind of look at it. I will insert it below the text because I like to keep my copy in there. And I will kind of take the points that I like. I'll rearrange things, rearrange the sub points, edit some of them. And then I have my article outline ready to go. That makes it super easy to write off of. And if you wanted to, you could even select the article outline if you're really roadblocked on writing and have it. I thought there was one that would generate an article. Oh, there's an overview. Okay. So you can have it do different things. If you wanted to, you could create a custom prompt that has it write the article for you. Uh, I don't do that. I like to do the base writing first. Um, but then you'll kind of see in the next point how I deal with that next. But this is a great use case for both voice memos and the GPT-4 AI assistant is creating new article outlines fast. This has probably 10x the speed with which I write because that first part of planning usually is what takes me the longest. All right, so rephrasing writing. So once you have your writing, I think this is pretty universal that you... For anyone writing something, whether it's an email or an article or a social media post, sometimes you just write things and you look at it and you're like, I, that's just not good. I, I don't like it and I'm not really sure how to fix it. So in those scenarios, you can select the text and I'm going to use one of my custom prompts here. Um, I'm going to have it rephrase my writing like Matt Levine. And it will do that. And if you s open up my prompt here, you can see that it's instructed to just rewrite it in the tone, but it keeps all the other information. And so then what you can do is you can kind of take this text. I'm going to insert it below mine and you can compare it to your writing and maybe say, oh, I actually like how it wrote this one sentence a lot better than how I wrote it. And you can put in that one sentence or maybe the whole paragraph is terrible and you want to use this as the new paragraph and rewrite this around it. And you can put in any author you want there, any favorite author you have. Um, it typically works better, of course, the more prolific an author is. And then, you know, if you're working with other people, uh, you, could, you actually don't even have to rephrase it in the same language. You could say, I want to translate this to German. Maybe you are working with other uh, German team and they prefer everything in German. It's very, very good at translating. So you could write your notes translate them in here and send off messages that sound excellent in German. And this is no Google Translate where you're going to get something that just sounds terrible and awkward. It's very good at writing in these languages as a language model. All right, so we'll leave that on rephrase writing. I won't put that in there. Okay, uh, have it act as a research assistant. This is a very fun one. So I just have a couple examples written out. There's a lot more than these that you can do with it, but these are some of my favorites. This first one, 
Um, I want to generate some historical examples. So if I'm making an argument, let's say I'm writing an article about AI and I want to address that people are very scared about it. Uh, I can take the statement where people have been previously wary of new technology throughout history. Again, pull up the editor, type in historical. I have this custom prompt that just says write out historical examples. And here it will just pull out a couple that I can use. I think that I instruct it to give three different examples. So again, you could change that number. You could have it do five, 10, as many as you wanted. Uh, but it's pretty useful when you're writing and you want to just call on an earlier example from history to kind of further emphasize your point. And there it goes. There's all three. So if I wanted to, I could just pick one, copy it and use it for my writing. All right, this next one. The best leaders are extroverts. That's, I guess, what you would call a hot take. So if you have a hot take and you're maybe you want to tweet it and you want to make sure you've covered all of your bases, um, you can generate counter arguments. So I actually haven't tried this one. I'm curious to see what it says. Introverted leaders can be equally effective as they are often possess strong listening skills, empathy, the ability to foster deep connections with their team. And that leads to trust and collaboration. That's pretty good. I'll insert that one. So that's something where if I was going to tweet this controversial take, I would want to be ready that some people are going to respond with this probably. Uh, all right. And final one in this category, when is the best time to visit Granada? This is just kind of having it act as an executive assistant. So let's say I am writing a travel guide to Granada. Uh, I have a custom prompt here that just says execute the command. So that's a, I'll, actually, I also have one that says question. Let me try to answer the question one. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's reasoning. So I, I was I was a little worried it was just going to give like a single month and I've never been to Granada. So I actually, I don't know the answer to that, but dry season, January through May. Um, and then it gives a little explanation why it's the best time to visit. And that's pretty good. So if I were writing a travel guide, that's a pretty good answer to pull on. All right. So that is the improved writing category. That was a long one, but it's a really, really good one. And so let's just address some of the combined use cases. I'm not going to go through these here. Um, in terms of actually running them, but I do want to mention them. So taking meeting notes automatically, this is a huge one for me. I really, really dislike taking meeting notes because, uh, I have a single track of goldfish brain. So that means a, I don't remember a lot of things organically if I don't write them down, but B, I have trouble writing things down while having a conversation and paying attention to what someone's saying. So I've always had this problem when someone is talking on a meeting that I can either record what they are saying, or I can fully internalize what they're saying, but I cannot do both at the same time. So using the audio recorder, I can just record meetings and uh, I actually have, this won't work, so I won't run it on the prompt here, but I have an exec, actually I'll, I'll run it so I can show it to you, but there's an executive assistant command that one of our users showed us uh, that puts your meeting notes into this format with the key meeting takeaways, the action items you need to do and the action items the other person needs to do and the next steps. It's super, super useful, but you can kind of ignore what it's writing here because I didn't actually select it on a real meeting. It's just like forward. Um, but that's a really, really good one. You can just have that assistant on every single meeting. And I actually like that a lot better than some of these voice transcribing tools because I don't want an entire transcription of a meeting. That's usually not that useful for me. I just want the notes that I would have taken, I, but I don't want to be the one taking them. So perfect for that. Um, record brainstorms and send follow-ups with everything organized. Similarly, I mean, this kind of falls into the meeting category, but if I'm with a group of people or even a group of friends, it doesn't even have to be work related. Maybe we're discussing a travel trip or, um, planning like a baby shower or something. I don't know. You could record anything and use, you know, basically the same commands to just have it summarize the discussion and what needs to be done afterwards, because there's nothing worse than taking the time and effort to collect everyone into a meeting or a gathering or a brainstorm or something. and then not remember what was discussed. So again, similar to the first one, but very useful. And then finally, you have an executive assistant working on your behalf. That's kind of what I showed you before, where you can, in your notes, just start writing down commands, and questions, um, and you can just have it execute that. And so I didn't run this one, but I do also have this one that says execute command, where I can just write anything out and it will do it for me. Okay, so these are all things that were kind of available with AI and note-taking currently, but in terms of what's coming up next, we've done some speculating. And I think we can kind of reasonably speculate what's coming next year. 
So one is web browsing. This is already here. It will be like having a true VA in your notes. So you could have it schedule your travel for you. You could have it book appointments. You can have it do research online for you. And if you have the browsing version of ChatGPT+, this is actually already possible. And we're hoping soon it will be possible within our notes so that we don't have to toggle back and forth. Uh, AI assistance using personal notes to give you tailored solutions and suggestions. If you give an AI assistant access to your notes, it's kind of like giving the AI assistant access to your brain, which on one hand raises some privacy and security things that we'll all individually have to make some choices about. But if you do choose to go that route, it will be able to do a lot. It can almost be like a <laughs> customer service agent with your own knowledge that can answer different things. So uh, I'm personally looking forward to a scenario where I could give my AI assistant access to all of my notes and maybe it could answer my emails for me. Uh, semantic search. This is a really big one. So it, it can basically just become a hyper intelligent search where you can search for insights and ideas and connections within your notes. And it will find them even if the exact words don't match, which will be a whole new world of searching within our notes. Uh, another one I'm very excited for, auto backlinking. Uh, so, you know, Reflect has backlinking where I can select something and I can create a backlink out of it. And then it creates um, what eventually becomes this map of ideas that I'll just show you really quick of all of my notes interconnected here. And it gives you a visual representation of what your digital second brain actually looks like. But you do have to manually backlink, whoops, backlink everything. So um, if it does this automatically for you, then we'll basically be able to create second brains by just taking notes and everything will be done autonomously. I'm very excited for that. And then finally, this is kind of similar to the AI assistance, but the chatbots that can access and comprehend our personal notes. This again is almost like having a chat GPT that's trained specifically on your brain, your own opinions, your own thoughts, your own ideas, which is something that I would find very, very cool. So in summary, highly recommend you start using AI in your notes. There's a ton of use cases that I didn't go over here. This is just some things that we're doing internally on the Reflect team right now using our notes. And we are insanely excited to see what happens next in the world of AI note-taking.